All right, starting up the old R22. I'm going to go out and do a few down auto rotations here at good old Cape Dorado. Turn my locks on live there. So I did something in the R44 here. I figured we might as well give the R22 equal billing. We'll go out and do some pull down autos on the R22. That's about the end of the day here. It's been raining all day, so the runways, taxiways are good and wet, so it just slides real easy. Just waiting on the clutch light to go out. So the biggest difference in auto rotation of the R22 and the R versus the R44, R22 has much more uh, uh, much more lightweight blades than the R44. They've got low inertia blades to a greater degree than the R44. And so the excursion rate of the blades, both speeding up and slowing down, is quicker than the R44. So your timing, you know, when you go out practicing doing auto rotations in an R22, you got to be a little bit more on your game on timing so that you don't end up over speeding or under speeding the blades. <laughs> over speeding can be a big deal with these. Uh, you can actually damage the spindle bearings if you uh, actually enter the auto and you're collected too far down. If you were to over speed the blades, you can actually damage the spindle bearings. All right, so clutch lights out, and we'll come up to 75, let the engine warm up a bit here. Have to avoid that yellow lower tail rotor drive shaft resonance range there, so I always warm them up to 75 degrees. As I mentioned earlier, you know, when you lower the collective on a helicopter, you become a gyroplane, basically. Aircraft responds very similar to what the gyroplanes do. However, there's one big difference between, <clears throat> between the helicopters and the gyroplanes. And uh, I'll put it to you this way. When I come in and land in a gyro, I can actually, by the time I touch down, let's say everything else was equal, I'd hit a power-off approach in a gyro at 65 versus on a power off approach at 65 in a helicopter, when I actually touch the wheels down on the gyro plane, my forward motion or my forward speed is considerably less than what it would be in a helicopter, both an R22 or R44. See if you can figure out why. And uh, on one of the uh, auto rotation, uh, uh, we'll just some some plans on auto rotations. So it's kind of in a lecture format. I'll explain what the difference is and why. You'll be impressed at the difference there. So. Okay, so we're touching green, all three gauges. Got to roll up to 90% here and get a mag check in. Left mag looks good. Right mag looks good. All right. Going to raise my, get my horn and my light. That looks good. Now split the needle and reestablish at about 75 here. All right, so door to seat belts are secure. Warning lights are all off except for the governor. We've got plenty of gas for what we're going to be doing. All three gauges in the green. We're on the right frequency on the tower here. Coming off with the cyclic friction. And off with the collective friction. Going to roll up to 90%. Turn off the governor. We are in the air. And Cape Tower helicopter, uh, 90669. And it's actually after, actually after five, so tower is closed. Cape Tower traffic helicopter, 90669 is on the Cape Copters ramp. Going to be departing down Foxtrot and then a 180 back to the east for uh, Cape Tower traffic. All right, we'll use on out of here down Foxtrot. Back to the east, we're gonna just like 
when they did the R44, uh, we're going to use the uh, Alpha Taxiway, slide it on the Alpha Taxiway. Alpha Taxiway is paved, so the aircraft actually slides a lot better than on the, uh, out on the runway. The runway's got the cross cuts in it for uh, to kind of disperse the water off. And they really tend to eat up your uh, skid shoes when you, you fold down on those, so you're going to use the Taxiway. All right. Carburetor heat full on. Tempers are well up into the green, looking good. We're going to use a uh, 65 mile per hour glide in the uh, auto rotations in the R22. 70 for the 44, need a good 65 in the R22. Got a little bit of wind today, so not going to go very far in the old auto here. So coming around, lining up on Alpha Taxiway here. Airspeed looks pretty darn good. It's a good 65 right there. And here's the auto. So I'll lower the collective, roll the throttle down up just a little bit for the collective. And it looks like we're going to quite make alpha. So I think what I'll do is abandon this auto. We'll enter a little closer to the runway next time. Keep running traffic. Helicopter 90669 is going around. Be doing a left-hand pattern back to Alpha Taxiway. You kept your rudder traffic. So if you don't like what you see, you're done practice auto rotations. Anything doesn't look right to you, airspeed, or you're wondering if you're going to get to the taxiway or anything, just abandon the auto. Abandon the auto, set it up again. And, uh, you know, it's a practice auto rotation. You're not forced to have to do it. So just, do a pr just uh, abandon the auto. Go around, set it up again. If, nobody, if you're an instructor and nobody's ever showed you how to abandon the auto, that's probably worth doing. And uh, I'll try to include one in here where we actually abandon the auto, and I'll talk you, away, talk you through it. If you don't know how to abandon the auto properly, you can actually overspeed the hell out of the uh, the uh, blades, and that's not good. Again, you can rent those the spindle bearings and damage the aircraft. So, so we're going to get quite a bit closer this time. We're going to actually make it to the taxiway. Get traffic, helicopter 90669, short final, alpha taxiway, pull down auto rotation. All right, a lot closer now, we're going 65, I'm going to enter the auto, so I'm coming down, roll, up just a little bit with the collective. RPM would look pretty good. I'll be damned if we're not going to make it again. Let's try it again here. Abandon that auto. And Cape Rider traffic, helicopter 90669 is going around, left hand pattern for Alpha Taxiway. Cape Rider traffic. And just make a big circle here. Get a little closer. I get more wind, I thought. Get your traffic. Our helicopter 90669 short final alpha taxiway for full down auto rotation. Get your other traffic. Yeah, I think we can definitely make it from here now. Coming down, rolling off, up a little bit with the collective. Give me my good 60 to 65 here. Head down to about here and start a flare. 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 Level the skids. They're on the ground. So here's a pull down auto with an R22. Wait for it to stop slide. So I'll let the RPMs come all back up. Pick it back up again. On the go. And just like the R44, I'll tend to start climbing at about 50 to 55, but I'll pretty rapidly let my speed come up to, up to a good 60 to 65 on the climb out. Basically, because of the thing quits, I can get it on the ground so much easier with that extra speed. If you start climbing out and you're only 50 feet in the air and you're only going 40 or 45, again, it gets pretty uh, technically difficult to get the aircraft back on the ground without... Uh, now, without the risk of doing some damage to it.
Get your copy. Condor 669 is on the downwind, left downwind for Alpha Taxiway. Keep your auto traffic. Apparently, I'm the only, the only idiot out flying today. So, haven't heard anybody else much on the radio, but it has been raining all day. Heat's full off. We'll get a little closer to Alpha Taxi Way before we do our entry. Alright, Alpha Taxi Way is pretty much right under us here, so kind of come down with the collective, roll it off, up a little bit with the collective. Down, start a little bit of a flare, flare a little more, I float, 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 level the skid, we're on the ground. That was a little bit ugly. Alright, I'll roll it back up. And we're on the go again. Hey, Toronto traffic, helicopter 90669 is departing out of the taxiway, be on the left hand pattern. Okay, Toronto traffic. There's about 55, I'm starting to climb out, but let the speed come on up. There's 60, 62, now my blood pressure is down because I know if it quits, I can put it right back down on the one way with very little difficulty. Go right back down on the taxiway. Have a cool looking sunset this evening. And keep running traffic. Helicopter 90669 is on the downwind left side for Alpha Taxiway. Keep running traffic. Beats full on. And I think we can make that away from here. So we're coming down with the collective, rolling it off up a little with the collective, keeping up my speed. I got a good 65, 60 to 65, looking good. Down about here, I'll start a little bit of a flare, flare a little more, floating, floating, floating. I got to get my skid down, up on the collective, we're on the ground. Wait for it to quit slide. We're rolling back up on the throttle, and pick her back up, we're back on the go. Hey, we're on a traffic. Helicopter 90669 is on the go. Alpha taxiway. Be left hand pattern coming back around to Alpha. Okay, we're on a traffic. A little bit of a crosswind off the right side, which tended to blow us to the left as we're going to pull down, not too bad. They've got pretty darn good control of everything. Hey, Rudder Traffic, 90669 is on the down, the left down went for Alpha Taxiway. Get the Rudder Traffic. Off. 
Okay, I think we can make it from here, so we're going to come down with a collective, roll the throttle off up just a little bit, got a little right weight pedal in there for trim, keeping the speed up. Good, looks like we're going to make it through the runway, on a flare, flare, holding it off, holding it off, going to let it settle up on the collective a little bit, we're off, a little side stick in there, wait for it to quit uh, sliding. All right, roll her back up. Governor will take it there. All right. And we're on the go. There's our wind sock. We've got about a eh, 20, 25, eh, 20 to 20 degrees off the nose. And winds are blowing about, uh, looks like about 20 knots. Turner traffic, helicopter 90669 is on a left downwind for Alpha Taxiway. Cape Toronto traffic. Zero eight Celsius. Missile one point zero four Celsius. Altimeter two nine six four. Remarks. Density altitude zero. Cape Girardeau Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation 2322 two, two, Zulu. Wind 310 at 16 gusts to 7. Visibility 10. Okay, so the wind's about 30 degree angle to the runway. We're using Alpha Taxi Ways lined up with runway 28. So we got a 280 heading on the taxiway. The wind's out of 310. It's uh, uh, oh, somewhere around 20 knots gusting to more than that, 25, 18 to 25, whatever it was, a lot. <laughs> so I can actually angle slightly into that wind instead of going trying to go straight down from Texas wind. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, here's me looking pretty good. Got a car beat full on. I think we'll make it from here. We're coming down with the collective. Rolling it off, up a little bit with the collective. So we're on over speed. Make it, but we're gonna barely make it. Flaring and float. I'm gonna let it settle down on the skids. And that was rather ugly. Alright, roll it back up. We'll give her another shot. To go. Keep the traffic. Helicopter 90669 is on the go. Alpha taxiway, left hand pattern back to Alpha. Uh, or uh, keep the traffic. And keep driving traffic, 90669, got a left down one for Alpha Taxiway, keep driving traffic. Car beat full off. I'm going to angle it just a little bit to the uh, taxiway just to compensate for that crosswind from the right. Speed looks good. I think we can make it from about uh, here. 
down with the collective, rolling it off. Up a little bit on the collective, keeping our speed, looking good. Up here, that was up square. All right, that was much better. We're going to roll her back up. We've got a traffic, helicopter 90669 is on the go, Alpha Taxiway, left hand pattern back to Alpha, keep your auto traffic. And Cape Girona traffic, helicopter 90669, left down wind, Alpha Taxiway, Cape Girona traffic. Alright, Club Heat's full on. So again, we're going to hang a little bit to the uh, taxiway. I think we could get there about now. Coming down with the collective, rolling off the throttle, up a little bit with the collective. Keeping her good speed there. It's a good 65, almost 70-ish. That looks good. Going right on down. Flare. Get her on the skids. We're on the ground. We for to quit slide. Lower the collective. Roll the throttle back up. Keep driving traffic. 90669 is on the go. Now the taxiway. Keep driving traffic. So we're going to mosey down taxiway out right here for a bit. Down towards the other end of the room, the uh, Alpha Taxiway where it's paved, just to say that we could do a uh, departure auto rotation just as easily in the R40 or I'm sorry, in the R22 as we do the R44. So we're going to come to a uh, harbor here, kind of simulate a departure here. So we just pick the aircraft up and now we're departing. And again, like I said on the other uh, auto rotation uh, video, as I get older, I get more paranoid, so I tend to keep my speed up. As I climb out, there's about 50, we can start climbing out, but I'm going to let my um, airspeed ease on up there to a good 60 to 65. That's a good 60 or so. When I hit 60 to 65, my blood pressure goes way down, because I know that I can get the aircraft onto the ground much easier. So we're at, uh, oh, I don't know, 75 feet in the air. Just lost the engine, rolled it off, rolled up, keep the aircraft level, come down here to flare, we're flaring, floating, 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 floating. Float. And we are off the runway. So there's a full down on departure with an R22 from, um, oh, I don't know what it was, somewhere in the neighborhood of somewhere between 50 and 75 feet, I guess. So, all right, we're on the go again. Get around the traffic, helicopter 90669 is on the go, Alpha taxiway, left hand pattern, coming back around to uh, Alpha. Get around the traffic. So follow my own guidelines, there's a good 50, there's 55, 60, there's 65, and down goes my blood pressure.
know, you know, I'm up here a couple hundred feet now, so if I was a little slower than that, that'd be okay, but, you know. And keep your traffic, nine zero six six nine midfield, left downwind for Alpha Taxiway, adjacent to runway 28 at Cape Toronto. And put my car repeat on. Cape Toronto traffic, helicopter 90669, base to final for Alpha Taxiway, Cape Toronto traffic. All right, speed looks pretty good, 65-ish or so. And I think we can make up a taxi away from here, so we're going to go ahead and enter. Coming down, rolling off. A little bit on the collective. Even a good 65 on the descent. This looks pretty good. And then we'll start a little flare and flare into it. Now we're float, 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 float. Down with the skids. Up with the collective. We're on the, on the ground. Wait for it to quit slide. All right, I'll roll my throttle back up. Hey, Prime Traffic, helicopter 90669 is on the go, out the taxiway. It's going to be setting up left hand pattern uh, back into the uh, Cape Copter tram. Cape Girl Traffic. So as you can see, the little R22, it's not all that much more difficult to do a pull-down auto than the uh, 44 is. One of the differences in the uh, R22 is the skids are shorter, and so it's a little smoother on the set-down in the R44. The R22's got kind of short skids, and if you don't land perfectly level on the skids, you touch down on the back of it, it gets to rocking just a little bit. That's kind of what you don't want to do. Turn on our landing light here. Yeah, Cape Toronto traffic, experiment, or helicopter 90669, about a half mile final for the Cape Copter's ramp on the north end of the field, Cape Toronto traffic. So we're coming around pretty much right into the wind, wind's out of 310, my entry into the ramp here is off right at 310, so that works out pretty good. This is what my son calls the 56 approach. That little pond down there you see used to be a, 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 a sewer or a cesspool pond, whatever. And uh, so if you come up short on this approach, you end up six foot deep in, in Dookie. So this is the Dookie 6 approach coming in. Or the Dookie 6 transition, I guess you could say. Coming into the ramp here, we're right downwind from a whole bunch of hangers. So you get a lot of turbulence induced by those hangers. So sometimes coming in here is kind of a little bit turbulent. Not too bad today. See if I can sit it down right about here. We're on the ramp. All the way down with the collective. I'm going to roll the throttle down and hold it. Our RPMs get less than 80, I can come off with my governor, let my arm uh, bike reach back here, friction the uh, collective, or friction the cyclic. Looking at my timer, going to do a two minute cool now, we're starting on the time. I'm 
landing light when they have lights, save a little battery. Got one more minute to go. In a minute and a half, we disengage the clutch. Two minutes, mixture, mags, alternator. So have you guys thought any more about the uh, the difference in the uh, gyro versus the helicopter when you're uh, coming in for a landing at 65 and why a gyro will uh, actually cut down at a much small or much uh, slower forward airspeed than a helicopter will? I'll give you a hint and you can think about it a lot more. It has to do with rotor RPM. Rotor RPM. So what's the big difference in rotor RPM with a helicopter and a gyro plane? So think think about that. You should be able to figure out the answer. I'll tell you more specifically in our auto rotations uh, uh, lectures that we're going to do here. So right at and we'll disengage our clutch. 30 seconds later, we're going to pull mixture mag off later. About 10 seconds to go. Alright, so our mixture. Wait for it to kill the engine and all for the magnetos. All for the alternator switch. And again, as the blades spool down, they start getting even slower. I would eventually start coming slightly to the right. So my nose is into the wind here. So <clears throat> as the blades slow down, I'm going to start coming just slightly to the right with the stick. And again, flying a gyro plane taught me that. When you bring the stick slightly to the right like that, you're actually reducing the dissymmetry between the two blades. And they'll tend not to want to, you'll notice that the, the uh, mass doesn't buff it around nearly as much as if you just left it centered up. So I'm coming slightly to the right as the blades are slowing down. And then I'm going to get on my brake, get them slow down. When the winds are blowing pretty briskly, once the blades start to get slow, and the definition of how slow is slow, well, when you can tell the end of the blades are yellow, when you start being able to make out that the end of the blades are yellow, you just need to get on the rotor brake and get it stopped. Don't really care so much about lining it up with the axis of the aircraft. You're just wanting to get the thing stopped before the blades get to rocking too bad and flap down and actually hit the tailbone. So, I'm on my rotor brake pretty good. All right, got the blade stopped. 